Hey guys, welcome back to Just Peel and Barbecue. Today, let's do some smash burgers on the Watchman stove. All right guys, today we're gonna do a quick cook utilizing the griddle on the Watchman stove. We're just gonna do some smash burgers. Uh, the race is coming on in just a few hours and uh, I want to do something simple today and uh, smash burgers turn out great on this thing so um, that's what we're going to do today I've got a uh, chimney full of charcoal some lump royal oak charcoal heating up in the chimney over there and as soon as it gets up to temp and uh, gets glowing we're going to put them in here um, I could use real wood today but this is going to be such a quick cook that I don't want to burn up uh, my chopped firewood here this is chopped pecan but I don't want to burn up all of my wood just for a short cook like this so I'm going to utilize my uh, lump charcoal and again that's one of the great things about this watchman stove is that you can use several different fuel sources uh, depending on what you're planning on doing that day I'm not going to do a bonfire or anything this afternoon so I'm just going to save my wood for those kinds of things and uh, go with the lump charcoal so as soon as it gets up to temp, we're gonna put it in. All right guys, we got our charcoal hot. Now I'm gonna go in with my charcoal insert. Right inside the watchman stove. Go in with my charcoal. Get everything nice and even. Now let's get our griddle on. Again, make sure that all your tabs are inside the funnel, and they are. And we're gonna let that heat up. All right, now I've got a little pan here, and it's just got about a half a stick of butter and probably two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the, uh, on the griddle and just start melting it down. And that's what we're gonna put on the griddle before we put our smash burger on. All right guys, now what we're gonna be doing with these smash burgers today is, is ground chuck. And this is 80-20 ground chuck. And I've measured them, I got a little scale in there and they're three ounce patties. I'm only gonna do one for video purposes, but then I got a whole pan full of them in there that I'm fixing to do uh, for everybody else. But I'm gonna show you how to do one. But this is 80-20 ground chuck. Uh, I'm using parchment paper to smash them with. And I don't have a handheld smasher, you know, you can get one of those things, but if you don't have one, it's okay. I just use a small, trusty cast iron skillet and it does the job, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Looks like it's pretty hot. Now I'm just gonna take a little brush, and get some of this oil, and put some of that down on the griddle. Now we're going in. No seasonings yet. And now we're going to smash it nice and flat. Hold it down for about 10 seconds. Let it get that good crust on the bottom. And that's where your flavor comes from is that crust on the bottom. Now we're going to pull our pan off. We've got a nice seal on it. Keep in mind that griddle is scorching hot. Pull our parchment off. And now we're going to hit it with a little reload, fully loaded rub. And this is kind of what gives it that flavor. You know, that smell from, say, a steak and shake. The closest place we can get a burger like this is steak and shake and it's 20 miles away. But this is kind of that style of burger, that old school diner type burger. Now we're only gonna let it go for about two or three minutes and then we're gonna get in there and scrape it underneath, make sure we keep that crust and then flip it. Doesn't take very long. Meantime, I'm gonna take my melted butter, put it down here on the potato plate where it's gonna stay warm 
Again, we're building those flavors with that caramelization. All right, now let's give it a flip and see what we got. That's what we're looking for right there. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that melted butter, put some on my bun. And get it toasted. So we're about ready to eat. It goes that quick. Put our cheese on, get it melted. All right, now we're time. It's time to get our burger on our bun. I'm gonna put some onions on the bottom. Just kind of lift it up off of that bun a little bit. Burger patty right there. And now let's finish it up. Move this out of the way. Got our sliced tomato right on top. A little bit of mustard. Always love how you gotta guess when it's gonna come out. Let's shake this ketchup up. A little bit of ketchup. And we're ready. Now if you want Americana, you want something that reminds you of the fair, something that is just as American as it gets, this is it right here. Let's try it and see what we got. Here we go. Gotta have another one. The crust that you get on that burger from cooking it on the griddle up like that, you, it can't be matched any other way. You've got the toasted bun, the crispiness from the onion, that that sweetness from the uh, tomato. That's all American. It's an all American burger. Reminds you of the fair or carnival or ball games. Perfect. If you're able to get a griddle and do something like this, you got to do it. Until next time, I'll be fiddling. To lift that burger up off the bun a little bit. And we're going to go in with our burger. <laughs> off the bun a little bit. And we're going to go in with our burger. That's something. <laughs>